Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking all about Audrey Hepburn and her iconic sense of style. I'm going to talk about how I created a mini capsule wardrobe featuring a few items that she always wore and kind of how you can incorporate this in your day-to-day -day life and wardrobe. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. This is a channel where I talk about all things vintage, fashion, and beauty. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. So I started a brand new Instagram account for this channel. It's called Dahlia's in the Attic. I also linked that below if you want to take the time to follow me on there. I love getting all your messages and if you have any video requests, please send them over there too. All right, let's jump right in and talk all about Audrey Hepburn and her iconic style. Well, the, this video kind of kicked off with this wonderful book that I got. It's called Audrey Style, and it kind of just talks about her iconic style. It shows a beautiful photos of her, and there, I just used it as a point of reference to kind of look at what she wore in her day-to-day -day life as well as on screen and kind of took a few elements and incorporated it into a mini Audrey Hepburn inspired capsule wardrobe. So I highly recommend this book for anyone who is an Audrey Hepburn fan. I'll also link that below. Start out, I got this beautiful Teddy Blake bag. This one is inspired by Audrey Hepburn. It has that 1950s look to it. It is all beautiful Italian leather and I like the embossed crocodile print and it just looks like something she would wear. I love the little 1950s look to it. You can wear it just by holding the handle, but it also comes with a strap if you want something around the shoulder. I personally like holding it by the handle, but I love how substantial it is, and you can just tell by the quality that it's really well made. It's a beautiful bag, and I think it'll last forever. So this kind of is a fashion accessory that I think Audrey Hepburn would wear because she is seen in a lot of photos wearing kind of a similar classic 1950s inspired black bag. I also want to mention Audrey Hepburn's perfume. This one is a Givenchy perfume. It is called La Terre It was actually made for her. So let's talk a little about this perfume. So this perfume was created exclusively um, for Audrey Hepburn in 1957. And so this was her own custom perfume and then Givenchy wanted to sell the perfume to the mainstream and she joked, um, I forbid you. And that's kind of how the name started. So it fronted the campaign and became like this associated with the fragrance. So like now everyone knows Audrey Hepburn as the person behind this beautiful fragrance. And honestly, this is one of my favorite celebrity fragrances out of all of the ones that I have talked about. I love this one because it's very floral but kind of sweet at the same time. It has elegant white flowers in it, orange blossom, jasmine, and patchouli. I don't know, I think it just works really well with my own pheromones in my body. I've had so many compliments on it. And I, I don't know, it's one of those just beautiful, iconic fragrances, and I just love Audrey Hepburn. So this is kind of one of my go-to fragrances that I do wear more often than the other ones. And honestly, I highly recommend it. It's such a beautiful fragrance, and it's so vintage too. It's from 1957. So this is her iconic fragrance that I just love. And I'll also link that below. So I have a string of pearls inspired by Audrey Hepburn. So she was always known to be wearing pearls. So when her outfits were super basic with like black turtlenecks, black pants, a lot of times she would, her main accessory was the black bag and just a string of pearls. And I just love this beautiful Audrey Hepburn inspired necklace by my friend Mir Mir Buju. So I also linked that below. Since we're still talking about accessories, so Audrey Hepburn was known to wear ballet flats in a lot of her outfits. And this is a pair of leather ballet flats by Sam, Sam Edelman. I'll also link those below. I find them to be really comfortable. They have a lot of cushion in them. And I like the kind of elastic back. And they're just something that Audrey Hepburn wears on a regular basis. Also known to wear loafers. And I have these patent leather Clark loafers. They're similar to the ones Grace Kelly also wore. 
A lot of her outfits, you can see her wearing loafers, sometimes even with socks and a skirt or cropped black pants. So these are two iconic shoes that Audrey Hepburn had in her wardrobe. And I think these make perfect additions to anyone's wardrobe who wants to create an old Hollywood vintage inspired capsule wardrobe. Moving on to her fashion. So I wanted to create an attainable capsule wardrobe that featured items that you can still buy today and that aren't too expensive. Some of them are new, some of them are vintage, but this is a very attainable wardrobe. Audrey Hepburn is seen in many photos wearing a striped top as well as striped turtlenecks. And this striped turtleneck is like a classic ribbed turtleneck that can be worn with a skirt or black pants. And it just looks like something that Audrey Hepburn would wear. So I wanted to include that. Hepburn was also seen in many black sweaters. I love this ribbed one from Chic Wish because it goes over the shoulder. So it kind of has that 1950s look if you choose to roll it down or you can wear it a bit higher up. But I just love the look of it with a skirt or black crop pants, similar to the ones at Audrey Hepburn wore. Audrey Hepburn loved to wear oversized white shirts, like many other old Hollywood movie stars, including Grace Kelly, who also liked to wear classic white shirts. And this one is actually the sleeping shirt from Breakfast at Tiffany's, but it looks really cute with a pair of cropped black pants. I kind of like that oversized look because you technically it is pajamas or for lounging because it is the replica from the movie but I quite like it just as um, a shirt to wear out of the house as well. I like the oversized look so I included this as kind of a classic staple so I'll link this one below but there's also other sh white shirts you could get. You could even get a men's shirt for that oversized look at the thrift shop. Last but not least is the classic beige trench coat that you can see Audrey Hepburn wearing in many photos. She liked to wear a little scarf around her head. Um, I found this one at the thrift shop. It's a vintage Burberry's trench coat. Um, I love the Burberry's lining and it's just such a classic trench. I mean this will never go out of style and it looks really cute belted. It looks cute with a little scarf around your neck. It can be worn with all of the items that I featured and it also looks really cute with the black leather bag. I created a mini lookbook so you can see how I styled all of these outfits and give you a little inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you want me to feature any other old Hollywood movie stars. Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!